Hello, in this JavaScript video, I am going to show you immediately invoked function expressions. So before we even do that, let me just quickly set up a, a, a function. So I'm going to set it up like this. So var epic func. So we're going to set it by assigning it to a variable file, an anonymous function and so equals function so this is to help prevent variable hoisting and let me just again implement this and what i'm going to do is put a little loop here so i'm going to say you know, var i equals zero but i is less than 10 i plus plus and then we're going to do console.log i here we need to actually run the function, so we're just going to do epic func, save that, run it, we get you know, 0 to 9, and it doesn't print out 10 because it's less than 10, not less than or equal to. Watch what happens if we do console.log i here. As you can see, it prints out 10 because the variable is hoisted to these function curly braces so even though i is made here it is accessible outside of here but it is not accessible you know anywhere outside of the function itself but if you want to restrict the access of this to let's say within this as well what you can do is just do an immediately invoked function expression and what that is essentially if we do var and we'll call this epic loop equals function And if I put open brackets like that, this will basically immediately call it straight away. And now, if I were to run it, as you can see, it only prints up to nine, but it gets an error here. So, so this is hoisted still, but to essentially these curly braces. So that's a great way if you want to help eliminate variable hoisting within a function. There's actually another way to implement this as well. And I'll show you the other way of implementing it. I'll call this epic func2. We can leave, leave this name the same because it's within here. That doesn't actually matter. Actually, we don't even need it because we don't need the name. Because if we are just going to immediately invoke the function inside of it and not call it ourselves, we can just implement it like so. And this will achieve the exact same result. And if I run it, we get an error here and I have not run epic func2 have a look Why are we only printing out this once? Mm. Now let's see what I'm missing in here. Am I missing anything immediately obvious? Mm. Oh, it's messing up because of you know this line here. If I were to get rid of this. As you see, it prints it out again. It basically, you know, crashes at that point. So that's the reason we just need to comment out this line. And if I were to rerun it, so it's just printing out this loop here. As you can see, I is not defined in epic func2 because this variable is technically hoisted to this function now and not this overall function. So that's the benefit of using immediately invoked function expressions. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.